Hey guys, this is Mohan Puber, and I want to share with you in this video what I think about the 4-hour work week. I think it's an amazing book, but can you really work only 4 hours a week and live a free lifestyle and make a lot of money? I'm going to share with you my perspective as someone who's invested in buying businesses full-time for the last few years. I'll also share with you what I think about the book. So yeah, let's get to it. In a few seconds, why should you even listen to me about my perspective about this book? Well, I've been involved in multiple businesses over the last few years seven-figure businesses, made a lot of money, lost a lot of money, and I'm just sharing my journey in this channel. I worked with billion-dollar mentors, my partner who did more than $50 billion worth of deals. We're full-time, 24-7, looking to buy and invest in businesses, and I see businesses and talk to businesses every single day, and I can very well tell you if this is possible to get to a point where you live the four-hour work week. So yeah, in general, if you'd like to get into this world of investing and buying businesses, subscribe to this channel, check the other videos, and let me know what you think in the comment, what questions you have, and just in general, if you don't like my English, let me know as well, because I'm not uh, English is not my first language, uh, language as you can see, uh, but it's, it's all good either way. So yeah, first of all about the book, I read the book probably when it went out, I think more than 10 years ago for sure. I remember reading it and I was like, oh my God, it changed my perspective so much. And the thing I like about Whenever I like a book, it's because it changed my perspective a lot. It means I don't care if it's it, it, like even for the good or bad, as long as the book can change my perspective about the way I see life at this stage, I get a lot from this book. And I mean, that, that's for me, that's all I need to get from a book to basically feel like, hey, I got something from it. Like this book really changed the way I look about things in life. And is it possible to work four hours uh, a week and still have a business? The, the, the full answer is yes, you can. So yeah, is it possible? Short answer, yes. I have many friends who's living, who are living it. I personally don't have to work more than four, four hours a week if I don't want to. Uh, I do work a lot more, but I don't see it as work. Like I'm at a point where I just see work as something that I enjoy. The, the work that I'm doing is a work I'll do even if there was no money involved or even if there was all the, if I had all the money in the world already, I would still do it. That's how I think you should look at things and that's a very main thing that the book is trying to promote. The idea that you need to enjoy your life today and not wait for something to happen in 10, 20 years for you to start living your life. And that's what I think this book is all about in, in a nutshell. Obviously, there's lots of cool things I want to talk about and just in general how to get to a point where you can live the four hour work week. So definitely wait for the end of the video to listen to all of them. So yeah, first of all, I, I love Tim Ferriss. I think he's genius. I think he's smart, probably more smart than most of the people out there. Um, definitely more, more smart than me. Uh, I really love that, this book. I think the book is amazing. I think there's one wrong thing that I don't like people promoting. Obviously, the, the, the title, and the end of the day, and Tim is saying that, that the reason that he chose the title is because it's basically what gave him more sales, right? He, did, he split that the title and that's what gave him more sales. So by all means, he, did a good, he made a good business decision, not to talk about the fact that he built in an amazing brand uh, later with 4-Hour Body and 4-Hour Chef. So my problem with, I guess, what happens, what happens with that book is that people think, okay, I can go into any business that I want and basically not work, not have any skill and just outsource it to someone from the Philippines and they'll build the million dollar business for me. Uh, I don't believe it's true. I don't think it's true. Um, I never saw anyone who built a, a good business that's providing a lot of value and then was never really involved, at least initially. So you got to at least be there 24 seven, leave that business and then potentially you can, I guess, outsource it. Uh, the other way is obviously what I'm doing, which is investing and buying businesses with already existing teams that can run that business for me and that were running that business for themselves for many, many years before. So as long as you take the passive investor type attitude, then it's all good. Then you don't have to work in the day to day. You're just bringing something else to the table. To, to go back to that lifestyle and happiness type of thing, I think this is the most, at least for me, looking back and seeing my life now, I think I wish I paid more attention to that, to the fact that you need to live your dreams today. You need to think about what's the day perfect day I want to have, what kind of task I would do if I had my perfect day already going, and just find a way to implement them in your life right now. Don't say to yourself, hey, I'll achieve that goal and then I'll start to live the life that I want and have the day that I want. It's not the way to do it. If you're going to be happy today and find a way to be happy today, you'll also be happy in the future and vice versa. If you're not happy today, 
there's very uh, a big chance that you won't be happy in the future unless you're trying to make uh, unless you're making changes i think it's crucial to ask yourself ask yourself hey if i had there's no way i'm going to make money from something what would i do for free just because i enjoy that what am i passionate about what am i curious about what am i willing to put time in ask that and at the same time ask yourself hey what if i had all the money in the world think about all the richest people in the world think that their accounts are now combined and they're it's your money right now what so let's say you have your money you travel all around the world you saw everything you want you, you bought every car that you want every house that you want you did all that okay you're done you came back what are you going to do with your day right now i think those two questions are crucial for you to understand what are you passionate about what you want to do with your day and do whatever you can to start living that right now don't wait for the future and just in general i guess the idea that Retirement is not something you need to look for. Um, there is a cool sentence that I like that says, if you have to go on a vacation from your job, never go back. It means, hey, you don't like your job? Why do you even do that? I mean, is it really worth to, to get paid whatever you're, you're getting paid? I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously there's necessities and you, you need to get food somehow and a shelter over your, over your head, right? I mean, I don't disrespect that, but I'm saying at some point you need to understand with yourself, hey, do you want to live your dreams or not? I think it's pretty simple. And for me, when I started, I mean, I, I didn't start with money. I mean, I wasn't, I was, I was a soldier. I, 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 I'm, I was done with the army. And I was like, what, what the fuck am I doing with my life? So, um, I think it's a decision for me. At least it was okay. I wasted so many years in the army. What the fuck am I going to do with my life right now? And I was pretty much willing to do whatever it takes. I literally, I didn't have a plan B, um, because I, I had a dream. I was like, I rather fail my way to live my dreams than not failing at all or not trying at all i mean for me doing deals i would do that for free like investing in businesses buying businesses and again if you're new to this channel um all this channel is about my journey my mid documenting my journey investing in buying businesses uh, you don't really need experience or capital to do that if you don't want or you don't have um so if you want more about that just check the other videos in the channel and subscribe and just comment below if you have specific questions but in general for me i found out at some stage in my life that this is what i love doing i like the art of the deal the dealing with people the negotiation part of things that getting to know people empathize with people learning about people this is what i love and this is what i think uh this type of business is, is so good for me and i'm sure for many of you potentially as well so i'm just saying Think with yourself what what do you like to do some people uh, i have a friend who just like to program he can sit on the computer all day and he loves that so think with yourself what do you want to do with yourself with your life there are other really key things that i learned from the book like the 80 20 principle the fact that 20 percent of the things you'll do will basically give you 80 percent of the results so always ask yourself what's the 20 percent that is bringing me 80 percent of the happiness or result and just always try to eliminate things that you don't need and always focus on key small the 20 percent side of things so for example with the word of investing and buying businesses it's all about getting more deal flow and raising more capital uh, that's like the 20 percent that will bring you 80 percent of the results so always find what's the 20 percent that will bring you 80 percent of the results of the happiness etc etc and then I guess one key thing about the, the book is about creating a location independent business or muse, as it says in the business, uh, in the book, sorry. And there are many ways to do that. I guess uh, Tim is talking about how he created it in the past, which is creating an e-commerce brand. Uh, I think nowadays it's, it's much harder to create those brands from scratch, especially if you're drop shipping. Uh, at the same time, what I'm again sharing in my channel, I want to bring my perspective is the idea that the you can have that business from just going out there and buy existing business that already have existing management team in place, someone to run the business for you. So you will basically be the short shareholder of that business while it's running for you. You have a general manager running the business, sending you weekly reports and you can, yes, I, I agree 100% can live the four hour work week and decide what you want to do with it. Do you want to travel? Do you want to go and buy more businesses, uh, which is my kind of thing right now? I just want to, out there going to go out there and buy as many businesses as i can and help as many people as i can in the process this is for me i i'm not i travel wherever i want i'm not passionate about travel anymore i like to have a, a home at one place um, i was a nomad for many many years for 
uh, like seven years in a row I didn't have a home and for me it's like okay I'm done with that period of my life now I want to have a home I want to grow and and I guess grow as much as I can and contribute as much as I can uh, as the if you're familiar with with Tony Robbins six um, human needs so like I said the way that I believe is the fastest to get to the four-hour work week is one buy a business buy an existing profitable business that will give you the income that you want from day one and will allow you the lifestyle that you want because like I said you don't have to run the business day to day you can have a manager running it for you for obviously a salary or equity in the business the other thing is what do you do if you already have a business and you're basically the slave in it's kind of kind of like a slave in that business because you pretty much got yourself a, a, a job that you need to work 80 hours a week in instead of 40 and that's many many people that I see that start a business that's their life pretty much they start a business and they think hey I'm gonna start a business and have this cool lifestyle but they find out that they just put double the amount of hours that they had to put in their job and actually the amount of money that they're making especially if they start a business is very low especially initially uh, many times um, at least for the first year and unfortunately many of those businesses won't even survive so the question is what do you do now if you have a business but you don't have time so obviously the first thing you want to think about is you want to hire someone to take the general manager role so you could step back be the shareholder and I guess do whatever you want what I think is the best way to find this someone to replace you is ideally find someone who's already running a similar business to yours and either buy their business and let them run both businesses or just yeah marriage with them and then again let him run the businesses for you and I'm gonna uh, uh, expand a little bit about that in a nutshell if you have a business you run it day to day you're the general manager we set our goal find someone to replace you so he will run the day to day and you can be the shareholder getting reports from him and pretty much just deciding on the vision of the company um, and obviously I guess the coolest thing about potentially merging with a different business is that you can grow your business in literally 100% at least of sales in, in like one afternoon from the moment you do that merger and again if you want to learn more about that just check the other videos in the channel now here's the coolest thing about merger right so usually when there are mergers between companies or when you buy a different company as a, a bolt-on acquisition we call it someone need to be the day-to-day -day manager of that business now because many times especially with the guys we have that ego I want to be that boss I want to run the, the, the business um, yeah that there's gonna be fights about who's gonna run the day-to-day -day, which I'm saying don't do that just give, give the other guy the, the opportunity to run the business for you and you just step back tell him cool yeah you run the business I'll, I'll step aside I'll be a shareholder but you'll be involved in the day-to-day so now you got you got your lifestyle and you got a, a double double size business in a, in a, the day that you did that deal. So what I'm saying is if you have a business and you don't have time and like I said you want to leave the four hour work week, go find someone who can run that business for you. Ideally a similar business, buy that business. And again, if you're not familiar with the channel, you don't need capital or ex experience obviously you already have, but you don't really need capital. You can use the business assets and leverage them using financial institutions to buy that business so that's what I would do I think that's the best way for you to go out there and start to live the four-hour work week because in the end of the day if you want to start a business I don't care in what industry I mean everyone's talking about starting different businesses out there I see it online all days seeing ads and stuff like that it's gonna be really tough to get to a point where you're taking a nice amount of income from your business if it's a startup and you're just starting it um, versus going to existing business again I'm not saying it's easy to buy existing business making a million or two in sales it's a simple process it's not easy but in my opinion it's going to take you the same amount of effort to start a business and to buy a business and many times the amount of capital you need to start a business is actually higher than the amount of capital you need to buy a business if you're resourceful and you know how to raise that capital and in the end of the day I think being a shareholder and just the chairman uh, it's it just much more fun than being the general the day-to-day the -day manager of a business the way we buy the business is we use the business assets it's kind of like real estate you leverage the asset to basically get money finance that and then own the business yourself now if you're asking what type of business you can buy it's up to you really I'm I'm focused our investment group and 
and companies focused on buying businesses for people from people ideally from baby boomers looking to retire for us it's just um, I guess the the best low-hanging fruit opportunities but just because someone looking to retire with they're looking to buy we have a mess so in my opinion that's the best type of businesses to go to if you want a steady income okay I understand I rather have existing business that's making me income from day one versus starting a business from scratch most of them stats just says that they most of them are gonna fail I can buy a business that existing for at least five ten years already skip the startup phase make money from day one of owning it and I can pretty much use the same amount of time to start a business I can just buy a business make money from day one don't use capital here you don't have to use capital here either if you're resourceful I'm just giving you both options um, and you make the decision and if you buy the right business with the right existing management team in place then you can leave the four-hour work week easily versus in my opinion if you start a business from scratch it's very hard to outsource things because guys I don't care what business you start from scratch if it's just the initial stage if it's just like the first year if you don't have good systems in place and even if you do I mean to outsource everything in the first year it just makes no sense I mean your business is just it's not really a business it's just a shitty habit that you started from scratch most likely again I don't want to go against any startup that just started but again in the first year most likely especially if you don't have experience and track record you just get in nowhere in the first year so that's at least my perspective my thought go by existing business and have an income from day one have a management team to run the business for you and go live your lifestyle figure out what you want and even if you don't want that path I think the best things you can take from that book is again live your dream life today imagine yourself in 10 years like you your ideal vision how would your ideal vision live every day what kind of habits would he have what kind of actions would he take and try to live that as well um, obviously the 80 20 principle I think those two things alone and there's also the book is also talking about Parkinson's law the fact that the amount of time that you'll have to complete the task will be the amount of time you'll give it so I think that's really crucial so if you start something give yourself time limits for example if, let's say start or, or buy a business right give yourself a task to find at least two potential deals in the next week whatever it takes and that's all like you gotta have time limits otherwise you're gonna let things uh, take more time than needed and then you're just gonna um, take just unnecessary time that could be spent in just achieving things and if you decide to go the business buying route in my opinion the best target market for you are baby boomers people are looking to retire I mean you can give them a great opportunity to exit um, they many times don't have children that they want to take over that business and you can give them a very good offer that's my two cents on the book I think it's an amazing book I love Tim Ferriss I think he's genius he's so smart and yeah next step go read that book if you didn't yet I hope you enjoyed my my summary my review a perspective I know it's it's not just book review but it's more of a perspective of someone who's in that space in the buying and investing in businesses and giving you a perspective of what's possible what's achievable in my opinion and and just I guess changing your perspective about life saying hey this is the life I want I'm gonna start living it today I'm not gonna wait and let's think about what the best ways to go through again you can start a business for sure and that's most of the videos out there are probably going to talk about that books uh, uh, videos that summary summarize this book I'm just going to give you another perspective that it's also possible to buy a business and achieve the same results if not better so I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it subscribe and, and comment and let me know what you think hit the notification bottle button bottle uh, and <laughs> and yeah hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next time